Hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about writing the equations of all these special segments we've been discussing. All right, even in the last video I did an example of how to write the equation of an altitude. So we're just going to do some more practice and use those same ideas that we discussed as far as what do we need for an equation. <clears throat> okay, so in this one we are given these coordinates. We have k is at 10, negative 6, so that's down here and C is at 9, 2, and T is at 2, 4. And we have to write the equation of the line that is the median from C to KT. All right, so what do we need in order to write the equation of this line? Well, we always need a point, right? We need a point, and we'll, of course, use uh, C. Okay, since that's, it has to go through the vertex, a median always goes through to the vertex to the midpoint, so we'll use C. We could have also used the midpoint, but I just want to use C since I know that already. And then we have to know the slope of uh, the line between the midpoint and C, so I'll call the midpoint M. So I need to know the slope of MC. So first we need to find M, don't we, in order to find the slope. So, in order to find M, the midpoint of TK, we're just going to do the TK, not TP. We're going to do the midpoint formula. Okay, so we're going to take our TK, that's going to be 10 plus 2 divided by 2, and then negative 6 plus 4 divided by 2. Remember, we're just averaging the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates. So this is going to be 12 over 2, which is 6. And this is going to be negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. So 6, negative 1 is our midpoint of TK. And so our, <clears throat> our median is going from M to C. Okay, so now we just need to write that equation of that line. So we're going to use the slope we just, oh, we need to find the slope, don't we? We need to find, count the slope from M to C. So if I count up 1, 2, 3, and then over 1, 2, 3. So I have a slope of MC is 3 over 3, which is 1. Now I have all the pieces I need in order to write the equation. So I have Y equals 1, and I'm going to have X minus my H, which is 6 and then plus my k, which is negative 1. Let's go ahead and distribute that because this one is pretty easy. So I'm going to have x minus 6 minus 1, so that'll be x minus 7. <clears throat> oh, and, and I did exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. I used the midpoint instead of the point C. But you can see we get the same thing. If, if I were to do use the point C, 9, 2, then I would get the same equation, y equals x minus 7. Okay? So, let's do another example. All right. We are going to use uh, PQR as our triangle, and we're answering the various questions. So first they want to know what is the slope of the altitude from R to PQ. Okay, let's label P, Q, and R first. So this is P. Q and R. So if I'm trying to find the altitude from R to PQ, okay, so that means I'm going to from the vertex R and I'm going perpendicular to PQ. So if I want to know the slope of this line, it has to be uh, the opposite reciprocal of the slope of PQ. So what is the slope of PQ? So I'm going to use M to stand for slope. Slope of PQ, if we count all of that, that's going to be going up 12 and over 8. So that'll reduce to 3 halves. So if I'm going to find that slope of the altitude, that would be the opposite reciprocal of that. So the perpendicular slope is negative 2 over 3. So now in part B, they want us to write an equation for each altitude. So I'm going to label them by the vertex. So if I do the, the 
one going from R to PQ, we already know the slope of that one. And I know that I'm going to go through the point R. So I know that my slope is negative 2 thirds. And I'm going to go through the point 14 comma 0. <clears throat> and I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't need to distribute. We'll, we'll look at that later. So now let's look at what if I do the altitude from vertex Q. So that's going to be Q and then perpendicular to PR. So what is the slope of PR? The slope of PR is 0. So what would be the perpendicular slope? Well, it would be undefined. So this is actually a vertical line. And remember, vertical lines have the equation x equals something. So how do I know what uh, number it's going to be equal to? Well, it's going to be the same as this q coordinate. q is at 812. So all of these points on this vertical line are of the, are, have the x coordinate, x equals 8. So that is my equation for that altitude. And then I'm going to do the altitude from vertex P all the way to the side QR. So I'm marking that with a P because of the vertex. So I need to find the slope of QR. Okay, and so that's going to go down 12 and over 6, which reduces to negative 2. So what would be the opposite reciprocal of negative 2? Well, that would be positive 1 half. And we're going through the point 0, 0. I will simplify this one. This one is just 1 half x. OK, so we have all of our e equations of our altitude. Now notice what else they want us to find. They want us to find the orthocenter. That's, that's this point right here. by finding the ordered pair that is the solution of the three equations. So they want us to solve a system here. Now, we can really easily see one, two, three. Oh, maybe I'm off a little bit. But um, we can see that um, we can estimate using that. But let's actually solve, because I might have drawn those not quite accurately. So if I do. <clears throat> My one, I'm going to use this equation and this equation. So I'm going to use y equals 1 half x, and I already have x solved. So I know that I'm going to plug in 8 for x. So my y is going to be equal to 4. Okay, so that's, this, uh, this altitude equation makes it nice. So I know that my orthocenter is really at the point 8 comma 4. All right, so this, this looks a little off, doesn't it? And it's probably because of the, when I first drew them, I didn't know the equations of the lines. So if I do those lines more accurately, like if I do up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, and make my line more, my altitude more accurate, then I know that it's going to look more like that. And then same thing with my r. This has a slope of negative 2 thirds. So I would let's erase this one a little bit better. And now we're getting an orthocenter that looks more like what we got when we solved it algebraically, right? Because this is one, two, three, four. All right. So that's just kind of it's a nice example of why we use the algebraic methods instead of just eyeballing it. So in part C, how would your steps change if you were finding the circumcenter? Well, remember, circumcenter is when all of the perpendicular bisectors. Um, coincide. So instead of doing altitudes, we would be doing perpendicular bisectors. So what's different? Well, perpendicular bisectors do not necessarily go through the vertex. All right. However, they do go through the midpoint. 
So instead of each of these points that we use, instead of those being the uh, vertex of a triangle, we would make sure to find the midpoints of each side and use those instead. All right, so let's move on and let's do some more equations. All right, so let's try to find the altitude to AB. And we are given this triangle um, A, B, and C. Here, I'll move that. C is at 6, 4. So we're finding the altitude to A, B. And let me label A, B, and C. So the altitude to A, B means that we are going to go from point C and go perpendicular to AB. So this is just like the one we did before. We would need to need the slope of AB. Okay, and the slope of AB, we, if we count that, that's down 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, which reduces to negative 2. So the perpendicular slope is going to be positive 1 half. All right, and we said that our point is going to be C, so that's the point 6, 4. So we're going to use that in our equation. So I'm going to have Y equals 1 half X minus 6 plus 4. Let's go ahead and distribute that 1 half. That's pretty easy to distribute. So we're getting the equation 1 half X plus 1. Okay, so... Yeah, so you can see how my, my altitude that I eyeballed is not quite accurate. So if I were to change that, that would look like this. So I would have 1 and then up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. So it would look like this. And that's where it would be perpendicular. All right, let's do one more. And this time we're going to do a perpendicular bisector to AC. So if we do a perpendicular bisector to AC, notice that the coordinates of A, B, and C are the same. So it's the same triangle. <laughs> and let me label my A, B, and C again. So perpendicular bisector to AC. So I need to find the midpoint, and I need to do a perpendicular, perpendicular line through that. Okay, so we need to find an equation. So first I need a midpoint, don't I? Because that's going to be the point that I'm using for my equation of the line. So the midpoint of AC is going to be the average of my x-coordinates. So that's going to be 0 plus 6 over 2. And then the average of my y-coordinates, 3 plus 4 over 2. So that's going to give me 3, 3.5. All right, so that's actually pretty good where I estimated that. Okay, so that's our midpoint. That's the number, That's the point we're going to use in our equation. We also have to have it perpendicular to AC. So if we count the slope of AC, that goes up 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the slope of AC is 1 over 6, so our perpendicular slope is going to be negative 6. All right, now we have all the pieces to write our equation. So we're going to have negative 6 times x minus 3 plus 3.5. And we can distribute that. That's pretty easy. So negative 6x plus 18, since I have two negatives there, and plus 3.5. So if I combine those like terms together, I'm going to get 21.5. All right, and there's my equation there. And that's kind of off my chart, so I, I don't even know if I'm very accurate right there. So you've got some good examples of how to do uh, equations of medians, altitudes, and perpendicular bisectors. We didn't do angle bisectors because angles require knowing the um, angle degrees. So that's going to be difficult on a coordinate grid. So we will practice this some more. It'll be an important and a big thing on your test. So anticipate that and make sure to bring these notes with you.